Hello everyone, my name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel. And today in Division 2, it is that time of the week we are going to be rounding up all the news. We have a new skill that came out this week, new manhunt, and a lot of news about the PTS moving forward and everything you need to know about the game. But before we get started, if you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe. And if you like the video, smash that like button. We're a small channel, but we get bigger and bigger every day and appreciate all the support we've gotten. Now let's hop into the new skills. So this has been something they've been teasing all season. We have the shrapnel trap. We just have to go and complete the final manhunt, which is Belfry, and then go after Brennan. Once we complete that, there will be a hunter encounter. So I don't really want to spoil, but be prepared for that. So if you want to defeat the hunter and Brennan, I would suggest going in on normal or hard, anything above that. And that hunter is going to make your day horrible. Now, one thing I want to mention, when you do the Brennan Manhunt mission, make sure you complete the whole mission, kill the hunter, because at the end, I was getting two exotics, as well as other people were saying they were getting two exotic drops. So make sure you run it all the way through. Just don't kill Brennan, get your thing, and then just leave. Just go ahead and finish out the mission, because it is very rewarding the first time. Now after that you'll have the shrapnel trap and this is a very high damage high burst explosive skill and if you can use it with the right gear set you can put out a lot of damage although we are going to be seeing a nerf to it in TU12 which is sad but it's gonna just put it more in line with the other skills because it's just doing way too much damage. It's literally like one shotting chungas in heroic difficulties right now and if you are going to use it one thing I would pair it with is seekers do like an explosive hard wire build and you can honestly just spam those like every 10 seconds and get them off cooldown get it used throw it boom boom just like you would any other seeker hard wire build i'll actually leave a link for a seeker hard wire build and you can just switch out the artillery build for the shrapnel trap and you are going to be good to go now we also just concluded the PTS Wave 1 and I went over a podcast yesterday if you want to check that out. It's the developer podcast just to let us know what is going to be coming into the Wave 2 and that will be Thanksgiving weekend. So I believe next Friday it will be open. It will be open for about 4 or 5 days so you'll be able to get to test all the new changes. They buffed all of the exotics. They buffed the new shotgun and they nerfed at the same time a nerf for pvp but that's okay because it, it was really strong in the dark zone at the moment now i also want to mention we also will be having a global event starting next week and that's for the bellify so even if you complete it next week go ahead and it's a good time to log on because we're going to have double xp for the first 15 levels so it's about 30 free shade levels especially if you are trying to get to the end of the season pass if you just log on once a week these are always great times to log on if you are that casual player you buy your season pass just log on a week after they start the manhunt and you're going to be good to go you'll get that 30 levels and you never have to pay for those seasons now while we're on finances i also want to talk about a question i always get is warlords of new york worth buying in my opinion if it was 30 dollars, it would be worth buying it always is there is so much content compared to the base game you are getting triple quadruple the content you aren't going to be running now i played division two or i wanted to play division two just to go in the dark zone and i have so much content i haven't even gotten into classified missions all this other stuff going on there is always enough content and now is probably one of the best times and I'm not a shill. I don't get paid by Ubisoft or anything. I have like 550 subs, so don't worry about that. But you can pick up Warlords in New York, I think for like $9 on the Ubisoft store. And if you have any friends and you're trying to get them, get them into it. We need more players. I think it's like $25 for the Ultimate Edition, which comes with all the DLC, Warlords in New York, the base game. It's a great pickup. If you love Division 2 and you want to upgrade to that Warlords of New York edition, now is the perfect time. I think it's going on for a couple weeks, so go ahead and check that out. But that's about all the news we have for this week. I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving. Make sure you guys call an Uber next week. We don't need any drinking and driving. I also have a lot of build videos on my channel, tutorials, things for new, old players, and everything in between. And if you made it this far, you better hit subscribe. 